so that's funny. I actually told Anna this once that I actually mm-hmm. followed her on Instagram once and then unfollowed yeah. her because she uh-huh. didn't, because she didn't follow me back. Oh, just- that's classic Bukowski. <laughs> yeah, I gave her 24 hours. I didn't see it. Welcome back to Dear Shandy, listeners. Hello, Andy. Hello. How are you today? I'm doing okay. How are you? Only okay. Oh, I'm doing very good. Yeah. Sorry, because we have very special guests today. We do. It's Love Fest Day, and it's our first Love Fest of 2023. Oh, it is. That's right. And we're particularly excited about this duo. So the male, <laughs> the male in this couple, <laughs> I'm introducing suspect. him first because we know him. We've known him for many years. Uh, you know him from several appearances is on The Bachelor, including Emily Maynard season, a.k.a. the best Bachelorette season mm-hmm, of all time. Mm-hmm. Andy hears me talk about how good she a does. season that she was. Does. Also, Bachelor Pad before it went extinct. Uh, the best show ever. I know. Why? That was tragic. Why? And also Paradise seasons one, two, and six. He is from Chicago. He is the CEO and co-founder of the digital marketing agency KCM Create which produces very impressive stuff, I've got to say. And he can be found on Instagram at Chris J. Bukowski. Bukowski himself is in the house. Thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me. And his lovely other half is Miss Anna Redman, who you know from Bachelor season 25, Matt James's season. You also missed that season. I did. Wow, Andy, so you don't really know the Bachelor background for either of these two. Oh, I know Chris is Chris just from the news. Okay. I mean, he's a... (laughs) The guy's no stranger to The Bachelor. Okay, she was also on Paradise Season 7. But what I think is really, really cool about Anna is she's a copywriter, a professional copywriter. Oh, that's badass. That's pretty cool. Yes, it's badass. And she can be found on Instagram at Anna underscore Redman and on TikTok at Anna Redman, no underscore. Mm-hmm. And it was on her TikTok that I learned how to do a center part bun. So thank you for that. Of course, and, always good help. And we're so delighted to meet you and to have you join us today for a love fest. So thank you both for joining yeah, us. Thanks, guys. Thanks for having us. Okay, first we're going to start very easy right at the beginning. We want to know how you two met. And I've heard rumors swirling that it was through mutual friends who are also in the Bachelor world. Yeah. You want to do it? You, uh, I'll, I'll do it. I think our <laughs> versions are a little bit different, but I think I have the right version. Um, <laughs> so I was back in Chicago. I was actually living in Denver at the time. I was back in Chicago for um, Thanksgiving. And um, I met up with Joe, grocery store Joe. Um, it was the day before Thanksgiving. We met out at a bar and it was just me and him. He was already with, um, with Serena and we were sitting at the bar by ourselves, kind of like lonely saps. Um, and, uh, yeah, rough, rough go, you guys. <laughs> yeah, rough. <laughs> the two yeah. of you. Um, <laughs> and, um, you know, we're just, you know, talking and, uh, I'm like, Joe, like, do you, you know, have anyone or, and he's like, you know what? you should meet Anna. You know, she's friends with Serena. She was on paradise. She's really nice. He even called you hot. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm like, yeah, awesome. So I looked her up on Instagram. Never, I didn't, I haven't watched anything show related probably since the last time I was on, on paradise. Um, so I was like, Oh, my type. Exactly. You know, short, blonde, cute. <laughs> Um, Great. I'm glad I, I picked <laughs> Yeah, and you know, Joe's like, you have to message her right now because he he messaged Serena, Serena messaged Anna, and he's like, you have to DM her right now. So I DM'd her on Instagram, and I'm and Joe's like, you have to hang out with her tonight, or like you're gonna blow it. I'm like, okay, whatever. It's like eight o'clock. I I got nothing to do. Um, day before Thanksgiving. Um, so I messaged her on Instagram, and um, I was in Minnesota. She was in Minnesota. I was at home with my mom i'm like mom guess what <laughs> <laughs> but we decided to meet up when i got back thankfully he was still in town and then we had our first date yeah we just had dinner at this italian restaurant in west loop and then um that was our first date and then the she came in history. visited me like three weeks later in denver i love how anna's like the rest is history that's it <laughs> <laughs> okay yeah on to the newlywed game i have two follow-up questions based on that one is how aware of each other were you before this? Oh, you like stole my question. what history? Sorry, it's okay. I stole Andy's question. And next, do you think you would have met without the Joe Serena introduction? So that's funny. I actually told Anna this once that I actually mm-hmm. followed her on Instagram once and then unfollowed yeah. her because she uh, <laughs> because she didn't follow me back. Oh, uh, just- that's classic Bukowski. <laughs> yeah, I gave her twenty four hours. I didn't see it. I didn't. It. I would have followed you back. Yeah, this, this was <laughs> like follow back. this was probably like right when she was on her season of 
bachelor. Um, so yeah, obviously instantly attracted to her uh, mm -hmm. from what I've seen, I guess. And um, yeah, unfollowed her. Uh, so I knew nothing besides what I saw on Instagram, but I'm sure Anna knew all about me. Well, the, I, I watched the show a lot growing <laughs> up. Obviously I knew of him, but it would it'd just be like anyone else that I watched on the show. Um, and he wasn't living in Chicago at the time because I would hang out with like the people who were in Chicago. Um, but do I think we would have met? We've talked about this. We think we would have met. Even okay. if we weren't on the show, we're like, if life is so serendipitous, I feel like something would have brought us together. Yeah, I think we would have met too. I'm, I was in Chicago a lot. The thing is, is that I actually, you know, a big reason why I moved back to Chicago from Denver is because of Anna. Um, and then a big reason why she didn't end up moving to New York. Yeah. Um, was because I came and moved to Chicago. So I yeah. respect that. I feel yeah. like Chicago's an exact like middle ground between New York and Denver. It really yeah. is. I think yeah. like almost to the mile. Is that are we way <laughs> off base saying that? No, you're, no, it's right on pretty much. Yeah. And kind of like vibe wise too. It's a good happy medium of everything. So Yeah. Yeah. I was saying to Andy last night that I feel like Chicagoans have a vibe. Yeah. That is very New York y. Yeah. And we like yeah. it. It totally it's just, is it's New York. Yeah. It's just not as, you know, New York's New York. I feel like you can choose when you live there. You can choose to live that New York life, like high pace or fast pace, like crazy. Or you could settle down and live in Lincoln Park and have a yeah. totally normal chill life. So it's like you really get to pick and choose here, which is awesome. OK, so we're not giving Joe and Serena full cred because you think you might have met on your own. We'll still give them the credit. I'll give them 99 <laughs> percent credit because, yeah, I mean, if Joe's like message her now, I'd probably, I don't know. I probably would have followed her on Instagram again and she wouldn't have followed me back and I would unfollowed her. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't tell me to message her that night. So I would have followed you back I, if I saw it. I'm just not good at like, I'm not good at like getting into the DMs, you know, of like someone I've never met before. But Joe gave me the green light and he said Serena gave me the green light. So I was like, all right. And I was, I like hate texting and I wasn't very warm when we were texting. So he didn't think I was very nice. And so we both went into this first date, like who knows what, what's going to happen. It, it just ended up being fabulous. Like right when we sat down, we were like bubbly and talking right away. So. Oh, that's whoa. Great. I feel like that's kind of a microcosm for dating because you know, if, you know, a lot of people don't make it to that first date because they don't have mutual friends setting them up. And then maybe the texting's a little off and it ends up dying. So yeah. your first impression of Anna, would you agree with that, Chris, is that she was a little standoffish? Um, I think once we actually, after we traded self like numbers, yeah, then her, she wasn't very responsive, like via text. It was I'm also Thanksgiving. I was with my family. <laughs> So. She's still not. A <laughs> oh, no, I respect that. I'm a horrible texter. I feel yeah. like it means that I'm living my life. Exactly. Like, I'm being present. And I didn't want to spoil anything. I hate like before you meet someone or and then you sit down and you're like, well, I already know all the things like what's there to talk about. So I feel like I was kind of saving that for in person. And then I got to ask about your family and we learned everything or not everything. There's always more to learn, but it made it more natural. I think when we first. Yeah. After she down. showed up an hour late for the date. I was an hour late. Wow. <laughs> wow. Well, I gave him a heads up an hour before though. Wait, an oh. hour before the hour or an hour before? Like at six o'clock, our date was at seven. I was like, hey, my work is being crazy. Like I okay. cannot okay. get there. Okay. I think so that's... two hours before your arrival, you warned him that you were going to be late. Okay. Oh, that's that's, that's, that's reasonable-ish. I mean, I don't think that's bad. Is that horrible? It's fine. It's fine. I just, okay. you know, I sat at this. They gave me this like really nice booth. This is new Italian restaurant in the West Loop, and I'm sitting in this booth, like drinking a glass of wine and crushing olives. And the the waitress is like, "Is she coming?" I'm it was like, also COVID, so not a lot of people were there. And so when I showed up, they're like, "You're his date, aren't you?" And I was like, "Whoa, <laughs> <laughs> welcome, <laughs> Anna. We've been yeah, waiting really for you." Really hit me up. They're like, "He is so cute. You guys are gonna hit it off right away." And like, <laughs> Like, he's also wasted <laughs> and, yeah, and, and, yeah, and it smells little, like an know. olive <laughs> he was paying him to say that just kidding <laughs> okay so you arrive you sit down in this italian restaurant in the loop don't yeah. i sound like i'm from chicago you said the west yeah. loop sorry west loop. <laughs> i want to sound loop. like i know what i'm talking yeah, about yeah. so what are your first impressions of each other and then part b of this question is how have those changed if at all yeah that's an interesting one so i didn't really realize how short anna was until <laughs> Until she walked in. How um, short are you? But I, I think like you five. like that. She's I love short. One. Oh, okay. I, I'm okay. six three, so like 
I, I am aggressively short though. Like, could you can you get up and like on the kitchen counter? And- <laughs> she, yeah, she, she, I'm like standing. She's it's been standing wow. the whole time. <laughs> 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 okay, so she was she was shorter than you expected. Yeah, but you know, and to this day, I'm still short. Still, so. still, still, so, still, still not not growing, huh? Not stop, growing. Stop growing. Okay. Uh, no, but you know, obviously, very attracted to her. Um, it was weird because we were in this booth for like six people, and there was two of us. It was yeah. like, <laughs> and I wouldn't sit near him. <laughs> I was like trying to inch really close to her, and it was like we were sitting like <laughs> diagonal from each other. So I've been there before. I, I, I totally like, feel it. It was funny. Uh, <laughs> Cat and once I had like two drinks in me, I I, I started bumping the knee. Yeah. Um, yep, yep. But yeah, when I showed up, also tell them you thought I was funny. She's you funny. Told me that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I did. Why don't you tell first. us his first impression of you? <laughs> yeah. It wasn't my first impression. I was, you know, we had to work into it a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Um, I guess when I showed up, like your eyes i don't know that was the first thing i was like holy crap because like on you see on tv and then on like instagram and stuff but it's kind of a thing when you meet everyone in person you're like the, the magic of them being human and like what makes them them just like all of a sudden hits you and you're like whoa and his was just can i can i amazing. interrupt i gotta interrupt because I, I, that's so true when i first mm-hmm. met charlene like the the eyes the first yeah, date, but you didn't meet me no, no, after no. having seen me on tv what? You didn't meet me after having No, but seen- I saw you in the dark. So this is, let me, <laughs> let me restart that. When I first met Charlene, we met in a dark bar situation. So I didn't fully embrace her eyes. There was no good lighting. But when I had our first date, it was the next day in the afternoon, early afternoon, the sun was shining and I saw her eyes and that I'll never forget. I was like, whoa, that's nuts. And mm-hmm. I got to be honest, I, I think I was with you on New Year's, Chris, like five or six years ago. That's true, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, I'm remembering yeah. that right. Yeah. I don't know what we were doing, but we were together on New Year's. <laughs> Getting up to no good. <laughs> uh, it was fun. It was fun. It wasn't like unbelievably memorable, but it was fun. Um. <laughs> anyway, I remember your eyes. He's got great eyes. Mm-hmm. Great You're eyes. right. Thank you. Yep. I lead with my eyes. So that's all I got really going <laughs> on here. <laughs> but his eyes, obviously those haven't changed. But then like, also, I think I'm a really outgoing person. So when I first meet people, I feel like I have to carry the conversation, but he's also an outgoing person. So I just felt like we matched perfectly in conversation and like, it was just really good. It was great. Easy conversation. So there's no first impressions that have changed. Like, I'm just curious, like, what, is there anything that's like, oh, I thought he was this way, but now that I know him, now that we live together, you guys live together, is there anything that's like, oh. Uh, impression from the show like you weren't as talkative or is like no, I don't know uh, <laughs> I kind of got myself in a hole there um, <laughs> on the show no you were I guess I just didn't think you'd be as amazing as you are in person Aww. so there you go great save wow, wow. that was a great Very nice. save yeah. I know what you mean Anna I feel like Bukowski on TV comes off a little uh, slightly curmudgeonly more curmudgeonly than he is. That's a great word. Yeah. Curmudgeonly. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. But, but you know what I mean? Like on TV, he comes off like kind of like a grump. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. come off more, much more like a dick on TV than in real life, <laughs> from my experience. That's going for. Yeah. But no, I don't good. know. I, honestly, like the last season of Paradise, I just sat there and like <laughs> let everything happen. I, you know, obviously when we met, it was like, it was a nice dinner. So we were, you know, pretty dressed up and, and stuff like that. So I... I thought like, you know, Anna was like someone that was always fully done up and, you know, makeup all the time. And, that, you know, that's how it was early because we we're kind of, you know, courting each other. But, I, you know, I prefer her, you know, when she wakes up in the morning, you know. No, Just, that's the yeah. So, I, you know, I think it's the natural beauty because um, you don't really get to see that, you know, early on. Um, mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. what I've learned to to love more She's about She's laughing. Her. She's laughing. Wait, why is she oh, laughing? With me? But is okay. It? Is that weird? <laughs> no, it's good. I think it's sweet. It is good. I like that. I've often told women that they look great without makeup, and and sometimes it comes off as an insult, and I don't understand why. Mm. I, even with you, sometimes. Because the makeup <laughs> isn't for Chris in particular. I guess it's just like an. Expression. Well, it's not. It's not that we're saying you don't look good in makeup. It's we're saying that without anything, we love you more. Just and, oh, not true. And I don't. And I don't think. Wow, this is going to sound, but I, you know, some people don't even look like themselves when they take up makeup. 
True. You know? Yeah. Oh, uh, that's so sweet. Wow. You guys, really. I, this is very sweet. I think you, you should take it as a sweet thing. I'm taking it as I'm telling a you. compliment. Good. It's good. very sweet. You guys are just primed for a love fest. Listen yeah, to yeah. this. this My good goodness. Stuff. Okay. So next question, personality wise, how do you two feel you complement each other? Anne is definitely the funny one. Um, <laughs> like she's witty and stuff. And I'm kind of more of a, I'm more of a listener. And I think my humor is a lot more dry. Um, so I let her kind of take the front stage and I'll just kind of pop in once in a while and like with the, the hammer or something and really make a funny <laughs> oh, joke. Oh, come on. He is, he is Mr. <laughs> Mayor as well. Like I love, like, of course, when we're at home, like we have our fun and we talk, we get along great. But like one of my big tests, I feel like when I was dating would be like how someone interacts with my friends or family and like, do I have to babysit the whole time in conversations or can I just let them go? And he is like, he has become best friends with all of my friends and my family and like outgoing. So I think that's great. Like it makes me. Oof. Isn't that the best? Well, I that, relate to this that's answer. That's the best thing. Yeah. There's yeah. nothing I like more to know that my partner could just handle themselves with all my yeah. friends and family. Like I don't have to worry about it. That's actually a really underrated. Yeah. I don't want to. I don't know if it's a trait, but maybe an ability. It, it is a because trait. Because maybe it is a trait, but I've been there, Anna, where I've been in relationships where babysitting. Yeah, like I know that I get along with him really well, and I know his strengths, but. It's not like you can, he's going to be okay on his own regardless of the social setting and how many people there are and, you know, what circles those people run in. And it can sometimes be kind of jarring to be like, oh, yeah. wow, like that went really badly. Like, and I didn't know I had to go to out visit. again and you like get anxiety about being out with your people, mm -hmm. with this person. And even better is when they just more than handling themselves, they're actually well liked by your friends and family. Yeah. And that seems like what's happening. That's great. I That's was, the best. I left the state. I think I was, I forgot where I went. Did I go home or something? Yeah, for Christmas. And he texts me and he's out with all my friends. I'm like, what is going on? But it made me, like, it made me so happy. You know? Oh, that's the best. That's, That's the weird. best you can hope for in a relationship. Yeah, I, you know, with the families and stuff, like my family loves her. And it, it was just kind of a very natural, you know, fit. Um, yeah. It was never like, I never felt like, I had to make sure, you know, Anna was okay, you know, mm. meeting my friends or meeting my family. And I think her fa our families are, are pretty similar. Just her family is younger than mine. Um, but um, it's, it's just weird. It's very similar. I feel like her family was my family, you know, eight, nine years ago. Um, yeah. Well, he's the youngest. I'm the oldest. So like, the age oh, I see. Yeah. 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 And plus you guys have a 10 year age difference, right? Eight, 10 or nine. Nine. nine year. Nine. Okay. Nine. 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 <laughs> okay. <Nine. laughs> yeah. Well, so in that sense, we are you guys in 10 years. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So approximately. Got this to look forward to. <laughs> That's pretty good. Yeah, I think you have your hair still. Like you got your hair, man. Yeah. That's what I, I got. Th that's it. That's what James Brown said. The only thing a man has is his hair and his teeth. <laughs> that's true. That's though. it. So I'm halfway there. Is that what he said? James Brown did say that. It's all a man. That's it. Other than that, what does a man have? His hair and his teeth. But so many men don't have hair. No, that's a problem. Well, yeah, that's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. Okay. There, there. Yes. Back to the <laughs> eyes, the legendary eyes. Okay. <laughs> Given your relationship, it's relatively public, right? Yeah. You, I'm sure when you guys go out, do you get recognized, that kind of thing? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Okay. So, you know, there's a thing about dating in the public eye. What would you say is the most common misconception about your relationship? I'm not sure about a certain misconception. I think the biggest thing that people talk about is our the difference in age. And that's something I never even really think about. I know. I would say that's probably it too. Mm. Um, really? Yeah. I'm shocked actually. I, I was thinking as long as it's 10 years or young or 10 years or less that it, yeah. it passes. And nine and a half. They're, they're <laughs> under the bar. Right? <laughs> it seriously, it really isn't something that we think about unless we're talking about like if I've seen a certain movie or if he knows a certain like TikTok trend, which never does. <laughs> um, but <laughs> I don't do TikTok. Uh, good, good yeah, man. I don't know if there's misconceptions <laughs> out there. I think I get like when you make TikToks with me, people are like, "Oh my gosh, Chris is actually fun." So, but yeah, yeah. I mean, like she's very, you know, into the social media stuff, yeah. and I'm totally have just he doesn't care about it. Given, I don't, I don't, I would delete it all, you know, um, tomorrow. Uh, but you know, I still have 
things that happen through, um, you know, social media. I keep in touch with a lot of people through social media and she's very into the social media game. So it's, um, I guess people get to see me in a different way when I'm on yeah. your social media, but mm, maybe it is generational. Cause I feel like Bukowski, you and I are elder millennials. I think we would yeah. fall into that category. And I also, I would delete Instagram tomorrow if I could, like if I didn't yeah. feel like there was, you know, reason enough to keep it. Right. And, and then, yeah, it's just interesting. And meanwhile, Andy, who's I'm just elder. Yeah. you just. <laughs> <laughs> so that's interesting. No misconceptions about your relationship. There's nothing you see out there. People's opinions on the two of you. We don't really like, we don't like to read stuff. I don't at least. That's so I guess smart. we just stay oblivious. If people have misconceptions, I, I guess yeah, we I just don't know them. I don't, I don't know. I guess the only people that I pay attention to are people that are in my life. Yeah. And, you know, okay. um, I've kind of learned to, you know, value more of the, the quality over the, the quality because before I used to get lost in the misconceptions and all that BS and it would affect you know, not only me personally, but any of my, you know, relationships. Okay. This was not supposed to be my next question, but based on your answers, I have to ask this. It's such a good segue. I can't resist. So you each had your turn in the, like the villain role, you know, on your respective seasons and appearances within the Bachelor franchise, which we all know is no joke mm -hmm. in BN. Oh, yeah. People yeah, come after their villains real hard. So I'm wondering if this has played any role in your relationship and your ability to connect or relate to each other. So I had no idea about what Anna was on her season, um, which I don't think it would have made a difference because when I met her, I just enjoyed, you know, spending time with her so much. And it might have had more of an effect on you. Well, it was just really nice. Like at first sitting down, we really didn't like when you have to explain to someone and you're like, yeah, I was on the show. It didn't go well. This is what happened. And you have to explain it to their family. It's like a whole ordeal. But it was so nice. You know, when we were talking, I was like, yeah, I went on it. It didn't go well. And he's like, I know how that is. And then we moved on. Like it was, oh. it was so nice not having to bring up that stuff and like have someone who completely actually understands it, like the behind the scenes and like how wow. all everything comes to fruition and like the backlash. So it was almost great that we didn't have to talk about it. And then him mm. being like, I was engaged before. But again, like I know exactly how it is because I was on the same show. So it was yeah, no, it, it mutually agree. easier on mm. our Sure. We didn't really see that it was like there's any value or any reason to continue like to talk about it. Yeah. Um, it wouldn't have made a difference to me, honestly. Um, I, I, you know, I've been through it for 10 years. So I, I know a lot of the honestly, a lot of the people that I keep in touch with from the show typically didn't have a good edit on the show. Um, mm -hmm. I just feel like they're a little bit more real. Um, yeah. But I think it's a lot different, too, than it used to be now. Um, so. So yeah, I, honestly, there was zero judgment. Um, and obviously I heard about, you know, everything later on. I mean, even like Joe told me that when I was talking about, when we were talking about Anna for the first time, like she didn't have a great edit. I didn't look into it at all. I didn't, you know, didn't, I didn't care. Mm -hmm. um, You're so, like, yeah. I know how that feels. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. Like, yeah. And I think it's just another thing like meeting his family. Like that was always something I really stressed about was like, how do I explain this? And his, his whole family gets it. He was on it for so long so yeah. <laughs> again it was just nice to have someone who completely understands it mm. yeah. yeah I was dying to ask the two of you that specific question because it is you know we've had on Crystal Nielsen Courtney who, Robertson yeah Courtney Robertson you know we've had on villains before but they ended up uh dating or being married to as Andy calls them civilians <laughs> 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 non-bachelor folk so you know this is a rare like double vi double villain yeah. you know pairing and so it got me wondering and then your answer to the previous question about misconceptions i feel like the fact that you two are like i don't even know what they are like that doesn't matter i think it says a lot yeah. and it shows a degree of resiliency yeah i've also <laughs> never met a villain from this show that i didn't like oh it's so true <laughs> yeah like what same with you right yeah it's 100 percent yeah. true so charlene andy as a kid, I used to have these vitamins that will remain nameless, mm -hmm. but they were shaped like a certain cartoon character yeah, and also... they were very tasty, mm -hmm. but they were one size fits all. Yes. And most vitamins up until recently were one size fits all until care of said no. Yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah, no. Care of was like, let us take care of you. Uh, thanks. <laughs> care of people are like, oh my God, 
<laughs> That's what it is. I do love how Care of really focuses on the bespoke nature of vitamins and supplements. Yeah. Their stuff isn't one size fits all. No. You take their online questionnaire about mm. your energy levels, how you've been feeling lately, how you would like to feel, what you're concerned about, which is really helpful because sometimes you might be like, wow, I feel sluggish, but I don't know what would help me feel better. And then Care of will personalize your vitamins and supplements according to that. Also, I love this little detail. I always like to mention this because I do think it's the little things. Their vitamin packs are wrapped with compostable film. So it's not just plastic that's going in the garbage every time. And they have your name on them. <laughs> Literally. Mm -hmm. And I have to reiterate, I am not a protein powder guy, mm -hmm. but I downed an entire tub of chocolate protein powder from Care of. <laughs> an entire tub. <laughs> That was a tub, was it not? It was a tub. Gone. So our listeners, the Shandies, can get a whopping 50% off their first Care Of order by going to TakeCareOf.com and entering promo code SHANDY50. Again, for 50% off your first Care Of order, go to TakeCareOf.com and enter promo code SHANDY50. Okay, so now Andy's favorite question of every love fest. I don't know why you have to make this a thing. <laughs> <laughs> ask, ask. Okay, how do you guys fight? How, most importantly, uh, who says sorry first? How do you resolve conflict? And what is the nature of the yeah, fighting? The progression. How does it play out? Yeah, yeah that, that's that's a good question. Because I was thinking the other day, it's like, well, we really don't fight that much. Not much. Um, I kind of just, if I'm pissed off, I just kind of am really quiet. And he's like, if I'm quiet, he knows I'm mad because I'm never quiet. Mm. Um, and then he's like, what's wrong? I'm definitely someone that wants to talk it out. Yeah. Um, and I feel like you kind of don't. I don't to. like talking it out. So, but that's something that I'm working on and learning. Uh, Cause sometimes like I just need to be mad and I don't need it to be like a thing. I just personally need to be upset mm. for a second. And then I go to bed <laughs> the next morning and I don't care. So I don't want to make it a thing. Well, um, the thing for me, which was like a huge difference in just my life in general was I used to bury things. Yeah. I used to forget that they happened. I used to, and then they would come up, you know, later on and it'd be much worse because you never really process um, a lot of a lot of things. And that's why now um, I just like to try to talk things out and, you know, find a solution and then move on. Because um, I feel like a lot of things that you don't talk about come up later on. Yeah. Mm, but I, I feel agree. like we don't really, I don't, I feel like there's nothing that we, Yeah. I care about enough that if he wanted it a certain way that like I would want it a different way to fight about that, I'd just be like, okay. And oh. same thing for Huh. Oh, that's so okay. So let's be happy more so than like my personal. Like I like the hangers put back correctly. Does he do that? No. But have I gotten over it? Yes. <laughs> has he? <laughs> has he gotten better about it, or you just let it go? No, he gave up. So I just uh, did it. Wait, I, I need that. more. I need more. Like you want yeah, the hangers? Kind of hanger like you want the round part about? on the outside? Like I just specific. want them to be put in a certain spot when you take. The sure clothing off. off, so then you're not digging through all the clothes to try to find empty hangers when you're putting clothes away. Yeah, oh. yeah, you guys are gonna work out. <laughs> no, no. That we're due. that's due, yeah. but no. So whatever. Like when we're moving in, it was little things like that. Like I always leave the lights on wherever well, I, hate, I go, I hate and you hate oh, it. Yeah. Like, oh. Whoops. That, what? That, that would grind me. Oh, I want to know. You know, you said that you sometimes you want to be angry, like which I totally get. Like, how does that play out? Like, are you, you're giving him, you're quiet because you said he knows you're mad because you're never quiet. And then what's the progression? Do you just go to sleep angry or does he come and he's like, let's talk about it? I'll be pissy for like an hour or something. And then he'll like make me a coffee and I'll be like, thank you. And then we just move on with our lives. Like I get over things really fast. Not much really makes me mad for a long period of time. Mm -hmm. um, and I know that about myself. So that's why I try not to like make things a big deal. Mm. So I, I don't yeah, make things a big deal. Um, no, I definitely no, no. feel things a lot more than than she does. That's for sure. Yeah. Really? <laughs> but, oh yeah. He's more sensitive than I am. Oh, I he's, a, he's a Bukowski. He's a poet. He's of. <laughs> right. you know, are you real? Are you related to Bukowski in any way? No, but great writer. Okay. <laughs> What's your favorite? The the drunkest the, one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> Okay, so you're the more sensitive one. Wow, th I think that would surprise a lot of people. I'm not oh, surprised. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm very emotional, I guess. <laughs> um, but it's not something that yeah, I'm happy that I am. You know, yeah. uh, I, I have my highs, I have my lows, but there's definitely um, the happy medium, obviously. 
I think you guys are touching on like on how you compliment each other. Yeah. Inadvertently answering mm-hmm. a past question here. Okay. What's different about the current partnership, this relationship that makes it successful, you think, versus past ones? So for me, early on, I you know, I knew Anna was not just like my girlfriend, but also my best friend. Um, she's wow. honestly like my friend first. So like Charlene Nelson. <laughs> um, you know, we have so much fun doing everything together. Um, and she kind of, a, a big thing was like, she kind of reminded me of a lot of like friends, like my fr- fr- friend group that I grew up with. Um, mm-hmm. You know, we're both like from the Midwest and um, a lot of similarities in family. But for me, like, you know, I knew three months and I was like, oh, this, like, she's my, I want to call her and tell her about everything or hang out with her and tell her about this and do this with her. Um, yeah. I mean, she was my best friend first and now she's my girlfriend and my best friend. Wow. Cute. That is very cute. Okay. And now you have to follow that. <laughs> yeah. Come on. I raise your best friend. <laughs> also that, but just like the way we communicate, he, like we were saying the last, um, question he really for not forces but encourages me to communicate with him and that was something i've never had before like it's just a very mature relationship um but yeah also that too you are my best friend so oh oh my god so cute you guys so cute okay next one's not so cute (laughs) what was an early hurdle in your relationship and how did you overcome it yeah. I mean, for me, it was like, so again, we weren't living in the same city. I was in Denver. She was in Chicago. Um, I knew that we, we liked each other a lot, but I also knew she had plans to move to New York. Um, I had zero plans on moving back to New York. I lived there, you know, a couple of years, though I, I love New York. Um, and the, so for me, it was like, all right, like, is this something that I want to continue to pursue? If I know that, you know, I'm not, I don't want to, I don't want to go to New York. And I know and at the same time, it was like, I realized that she's younger than me and she still hasn't experienced a lot of the things that I've been able to do is, you know, live in different places and travel different places. So at the same time, I felt like, well, if I almost gave that ultimatum, like, am I holding her back from living her life? Mm-hmm. Um, so, so that was, that was a big hurdle for me. And I never wanted to be like, all right, well, you have, you can't move to New York. Um, so I kind of wanted to, wanted to kind of see where it went. And obviously, you know, it was her decision to make because, you know, I was moving back to Chicago. So I think that was the biggest hurdle. Um, yeah. on our end. But like, you would agree, Anna. Figuring that out, um, especially where it's like, you kind of jump into a serious relationship right away when you're doing long distance <laughs> and you like bypass all the like, what are we? Because it's like, you have to really go out of your way to see each other. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, So yeah, I was making those decisions early on of like, is this worth pursuing? Is this worth buying plane tickets? And like, but it was, I'm glad. Also like early on too, sorry. It was like, I was, I liked her so much, like so much. Um, Like this is probably like, I don't know, early February or something. And I didn't know like if she was my girlfriend or not, because I don't know how to do that. Like, am I supposed, I'm 36 years old. Do I ask you know, a girl to be my girlfriend. Like, so I was like, I remember I called her one morning, like in a panic, I actually yeah. FaceTimed her. And I'm like, I asked her, like, are you my girlfriend? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I was like, okay. And in my mind, I was like, why didn't she text been, me back? Like within a I've certain been amount of time. I my boyfriend for two months. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, wait, you didn't think so? I was He's so like, all right, I got to break up with my other girlfriends now. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was, it definitely just like figure those like things that are always kind of like fumbly and weird in the beginning. Um, like what are we? So, wow. but we figured it out. Okay. I totally agree about the long distance thing because yeah. it forces you to be super intentional. Mm-hmm. Like you mm-hmm. said, like buying a plane ticket, like that's a commitment. That's yeah. what a lot of, a lot of people like can't even, yeah. you know, commit to a dinner. It's like, oh, you're, sure. you're getting on a plane and who likes doing that? But uh, I really, I like that answer. That was funny about the, are you my girlfriend? <laughs> it's like, are we going steady? <laughs> yeah, right? And I thought he was joking at first. Like, I I was playing really I was having coy. a panic Like, attack. I was being like, I don't know, are we? Like, 
I was just trying to be funny. And he was like, no, be serious. And I was like, oh, okay. Yeah. Did you think she was going to say yes? Or were you like 50, 50? I was hoping she was all, she was like dead asleep when I FaceTimed her in the morning. It, oh. Yeah, it was 6 a.m. And I am not a morning person. I am like 10 a.m. early. Um, so he woke me up and I was like, what? So. She had like dimple patches on her face. Um, yeah. Those said, work, no, by the way. Really, like, I liked her so much and I didn't want to be like, I didn't want it to be messed up somehow. So I was like, mm-hmm. I wanted to make sure because again, it's hard when you're not in the same city. It's like, I can't like, Call her like, hey, like, want to go to dinner? You want to? It was like, you know, you're apart from each other, so it's hard to kind of fully communicate your feelings when you're not with each other. Yeah. Right. I'm a firm believer in just asking. Yeah. Like, because I think it's such a big mistake when people end up dating for months and months, like even a year, and they're like, we never had the talk. I assume, and it's like you can't assume that. Like, there's nothing wrong with well, asking. Yeah, a lot of a lot of guys will try to. I uh, guys probably girls too i don't know but yeah. they'll try to like just keep it going casual as long as possible mm-hmm. and the fact is even if a guy's a jerk if you confront him with the question like hey are we boyfriend girlfriend yeah. unless he's a real piece of shit he's gonna <laughs> probably say not nah, not really yeah. and that's it and then you're done and, and honestly like i don't remember you know besides you know get engaged on the show like i don't i've never really um had that talk, I guess, and yeah. maybe in high school, like, Hey, like you're my girlfriend and I'm your boyfriend. You know, I, I don't think I've ever really had that conversation before. So it was like, yeah, I didn't, you didn't get a rose. Was. She didn't give you a rose. You don't know where you stand. <laughs> oh, exactly. right. We're not on TV. How do we do this? Exactly. I just, it was Where's weird. Chris was, Harrison? Yeah. <laughs> so last question. And then we're going to get to the game. Any beliefs about relationships that have changed now that you have this one? Yes. For me, it's, you know, I, even though we're in a relationship, I still believe that we're on two different paths and our own journey um, with our own goals and our own ambitions. Um, where in the past, I definitely believed it was almost like you almost have this idea of it's like, oh, it's my this is there's only one way to do this, you mm-hmm. know. And for for me, you know, I have so much stuff going on as an individual and it was you know, I kind of lost interest in actually getting into relationships because I, I was good. You know, I was having, I had my own own thing going on. And I think, you know, the best thing with Anna, she has her own thing going on and I want to be equally as supportive in what she's doing and, and what I'm doing. Um, mm-hmm. And, you know, for that's just, it just makes it so much easier knowing that there's, there's really no, I guess, codependency uh, mm-hmm. by any means. We're like mm-hmm. each other's cheerleaders. Yeah. Um, and I, I had trouble with that in the past because I always felt like I had to be, I had to be the, you know, the winner, the guy I had to, you know, make sure I was the best at everything. Whereas like, I want her to, you know, do her thing and I want to, you know, her to be the best at everything. She wants to be the best at. And, um, I just, you know, there's, you know, I sometimes just would forget that there's two people in a relationship. Um, and that's, that's, again, we all are, have our our thoughts and our ambitions. And I know it's, I want her to continue to, you know, do her thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I sense a good evenness here. Yeah. Which you don't always see. Yes. It's important. Maybe the most important thing. Yeah. I want to hear Anna's answer. Yeah. Mine would have to be, you're always told like relationships are hard work, hard work. You got to work at it. But this is like the easiest thing I've ever done. Like, of course, that's it. There's some things, but like, it's just so easy to be with him. Like yep. all I want to do is just sit at home and cook and like, we might not be directly talking. I'll be crocheting and he's sitting next to me doing whatever, but like we're together and it's just, it's easy. No, and that's the best. And that's what people always say. When people say to me like, Oh, relationship marriage, it's a real work. It's work. It's I'm like, hard. no, that is not work. Mm-hmm. Maybe kids are work, yeah. mm-hmm. but marriage and relationships should not be work. They should be the easiest thing you do in your life. You should come home to it and be like, this is easier than anything that happened today. And I think a big thing too is just continue to focus on yourself because you yeah. can't you can't be in a great relationship unless you're personally happy. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, and I've trust me, I've been up and down, you know, throughout my last 10 years of my life, even before that. So it's like I know I have to continue to work on myself to make sure she's the happiest she can be with me. Mm-hmm. Um so that's something I continue to work on. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's Chris, I, I got to ask you, isn't this a relief to be out of the mix? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> okay, good. That was a rhetorical question. <laughs> okay, I'm going to do a quick true or false with you, and then we're going to get to the game. 
True okay. or false? When you know, you know. True. <laughs> Are there right answers? There's no, no, there's no, no wrong right answers or wrong. Here. That's a uh, true. I'm gonna go with true. Mm. Timing Correct. is everything. True. True. Opposites attract. True. False. That, she's right. You're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> you don't think? So? I don't know. I think to a certain extent. For maybe one night or two, but not. Yeah. That. yeah. That's can. my opinion. Yeah, I I agree. Sorry. Yeah. Chris, we're I, more I agree like that. We're different. Yeah. No, you got sure. It's, I think that physically opposites can really attract, but at the heart of it, like you will get along better with someone yeah, who is similar definitely. to you to yeah. some degree. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Oh, oh, we converted. You changed Sold. my life. You can tell me anything. Okay. Last one. Absence makes the heart grow fonder. True. True. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Says the couple that yeah. did long distance. All right. I'm it actually is... kind of excited about this. Oh, this newlywed. It's a lot game? of cliffhangers. Yeah, yeah, but you have to let game. me do the intro. Oh, sorry. We have, sorry, we have the banner coming down. And everything. It. Okay. It is now time <laughs> for the Dear Shandy Newlyweds game. Yay! Very yeah. intense yeah. answer writing session. Mm -hmm, At mm -hmm. first, Anna seemed really confident. Yeah. Her confidence seemed to wane towards the end. Yeah, but I overall, actually think she was faking confidence. Oh, you think so? Yeah, I don't think it was real confidence. Meanwhile, Bukowski almost the entire time kept talking about how badly he was yeah. going to do. Which and I think is also faking. He's like humble bragging about his guesses. <laughs> and then towards the end, he even said at one point, I'm so stressed out. Yeah, he, I believe that. I believe that. Yeah, so we're really on the edge of our seats to yeah, find I'm out. Gonna, I'm going to go with a 3-3 uh, a three, three tie going into overtime. Oh, really? Yeah. That's your prediction? Ooh, That's my prediction. Yeah. And, and who's... Yeah, oh, who we're, we will have a tiebreaker. Okay. But you don't know it yet. And who will win the tiebreaker according to your Oh, who will win the tiebreaker? Oof. You got to go with me. No. I'm going to go with Chris. I'm going go with yeah. Chris for all time's sake. Yeah. Yeah. I think Chris is going to take it. <laughs> In honor of that New Year's. Yeah. That, years ago. That New Year's. We, we don't way, remember we where we were. Okay. Yeah, we do go way back. Sorry, Anna. You can't compete with that. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. <laughs> well, hopefully you prove him wrong. I'm rooting for you. All right. Question number one. Since Anna is our special guest, and not that you're not special, but you know, we're meeting her today. Yeah. She will go first, mm -hmm. meaning, Chris, this is your point to win or lose. So, okay. Anna. What is the first thing you would buy if you won the lottery? House in Florida. Chris, did you get that? Yep. I sure did. I said the beach house. We're going to we're going to accept that. Well, we'll accept, we're that. Gonna accept yeah. that. Yeah. There's yeah, no Florida, but yeah. we'll accept that. Florida yes. would have been a bonus. Yeah. Point. Beach house. We knew what he meant by the beach. The, yeah. Yeah. Beaches in Florida. Yeah. He yeah gets we're the only reason yeah. why she said Florida is because like that's what that's we're, looking, where we're at looking now. Yeah. <laughs> right. oh, okay. Florida would probably be like in Greece or something. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You'll take a beach that's nice anywhere. Yeah, okay. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That I mean, off to a great start. Yeah, very good. Chris very for strong. all that, yeah. that complaining. Yeah, you all certainly that, are not doing yeah. too badly. Total so BS. He's <laughs> got this locked up. How about you, Chris? You win the lottery. What is the first thing you go out and buy? I buy a beach house. Wait, even the same. Is it really? Yeah. Wait, wow. Wait, are you serious? I mean, Anna, let's see yours. I, we need to see that they're different than the other ones. Yeah, we what? have to see a different card that says you did that. I wrote the exact same thing twice. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh that's cute. <laughs> cute. They want the Very same nice. thing. Very nice. Very nice. That's I'm actually touched. super I'm touched. cute. You, we're on Zillow every night. We, that's so. all we look at. All we want is the house on the beach. Oh. They sound like us with something upstate. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Very nice. Very nice. So city folk wanting to get in touch with nature. Yeah. yeah. All right, Anna. Question number two. What is your shoe size? Mine is yes. six and a half. Okay. Yeah. All right. Chris, did you get six that? Six and a half. Oh, oh very nice. nice. Very, very nice. Nice. I was stressed out about that one. I thought nice. it was maybe six or seven, but then I went yeah. to half. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. Very good. Half sizes are tough to remember. <laughs> keep uh, yeah. <laughs> Giving him some wind under his cells. <laughs> okay, Chris, what is your shoe size? Um, I'm going to go with what uh, my slippers are, and they're a size 12. Okay. Mm, nice. Anna, did you get that? Size. 12. Whoa, oh, damn. wow. Steamrolling. Two for two so far. Wow. Tie. Okay. Excellent. Anna, question number three. If you could only listen to one musician, band, or composer for the rest of your life, who would it be? Taylor Swift. Okay. Oh, this, you got to get this one. Come on. Yeah, he's going to get it. Swifty. Oh, oh nice. he got it. Wow. wow. This is 
This is a rock and start. You guys this are just is the one that I don't know if I'll get for him though, because I I said this once and it made me lose because he out of a blue said a different band and I was like, what the heck? But I'm going with. Oh wait 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 wait. Let's see what Chris. How about you? You can only listen to one musician, band, or composer for the rest of your life. I'm gonna be pissed. You know, I went with what I've been listening to a lot recently, oh, and I nice. went with the Lumineers. Oh, okay, nice. Anna, did you get that? Illuminated. Oh, wow. I think we did Man, this one. And he said that ground band, which makes sense. But I was like, we listen to the Lumineers. Like, we, I have a record player. We have our record situation. And like, every day we listen to the Lumineers because we wow. love them. So, okay. I mean, have we ever had a 3 3 start? Yes. We have? Yes. No, they're doing very well, though. Wait, you said you've done this before? Like, have you have you asked each other this question before? We, there was like a game or something. With before. my parents. And it was <laughs> okay. like a card game or whatever. And it was yeah. like, what's your favorite musician? Okay. And, then, so I, and the next question was, what's your sex life like? And we were saying with my parents, we're like, what? <laughs> what, is that? what does that even mean? Yeah. How do you answer that? That could be anything. Uh, it's yeah. good. What, what choice do you have? Uh, we go on a lot of vacations with my parents, though. Yeah. So. yeah. What kind of vacations do you go on with them? <laughs> Actually, to the hedonism. Next <laughs> Actually, that that's making me think of something, Anna, I read on your original Bachelor bio. I, you tell me if this is actually true. You said, or it said, her dream guy must enjoy doing puzzles with her. Is that true? Oh, I like doing puzzles. He isn't very good at them. I get the main, <laughs> I get the really important piece. Oh, the real, so I'll do the whole thing. He is sitting there the whole time and then he'll put the last one in and he's like, oh, and I'll be like, oh my God. We don't do puzzles a lot together, but... We do play games and we like, I like doing things. Mm. So I do like my crocheting or we'll play backgammon. She's you know from like you the got... 60s. Sorry, yeah. go ahead. Oh, the She's 60s. She's yeah. with the crocheting. Yeah. And you guys bowl a lot, you said. Yeah, oh, yeah, we love, see, I love doing activities. Bowl and darts. darts. We do a lot of darts. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. We, we like a good bowling. We do like a good, we still go to the bowling alley together. Yeah. Just just oh, it's great. Surrounded yeah. by a bunch of kids' birthday parties. Yeah, no, it's great. No, bowling's the best. And I have to ask you something. We were talking about this actually on, on the recap. What do you do? What's your reaction when your partner bowls and they get something like sort of non-exciting, like five pins? Mm -hmm. Like, how do you do? I don't know what to do. I feel very uncomfortable. Oh, we're, we're, we're just like, man. Or I'll oh, okay. yeah, just... we're playing against each other and like oh. I don't Oh oh so you want him to score we're badly so you get excited. Yeah. Oh I see. Okay. All right. That's okay. that's when easier. We, we okay. cheer though for each other. When we kidding. first started hanging out, we were in Naples, Florida. This oh. was very COVID -y time too, and we went to the bowling alley and there was nobody there. It was ice cold in there for some reason. I beat her eleven games in a row. Wow, that's great. Good for you. Eleven <laughs> games in a row. I love it. I won one. Take that, one. bitch. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Seriously. And and I'm usually a good bowler. I don't. It was freezing. I'm just gonna say that's why I didn't do well. But yeah, also, I've like, blamed the cold on a lot of things. I, I remind, I remind like, her about this all the time. I'm throwing a six pound ball and hanging in there. He's like, like he's an ass. He's an athlete. Like, I'm yeah. just playing for fun. Yeah, you've well, got a lot of leverage that she doesn't have at five. Yeah, yeah. true. Yeah. Do you, are you like, can, can you really throw it like really fast? Like, what kind of MPH yeah, do you have? Good, have good oof to it. But, you know, yeah. before we bowl for the first time, she's talking about how good she was at bowling. I what? Yeah. Nice. Like, yeah, that was a mistake. That I find mistake. this story hilarious because it's such a funny thing to brag about. It's oh, like, yeah. I beat her 11 times in a row. <laughs> oh, I would totally brag about that. <laughs> Put it on my tombstone. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So back to the game. Number four, Anna, what was the name of your first pet? I'm not going to get it. Um, Wait, uh, your own first pet. Oh, though. mine? Oh, Hank. Oh, fucking Hank. Oh, that's a great He's name. He's going to get hit by the dog. That's a great he name. He got hit by the car. Yeah, he got hit by a car. So uh, he, he was gone for like three days and then they found him on the highway. Yeah. Oh, dear. Not a yeah, it was Hank, and he was a lab, right? Mm -hmm. See, I knew all that. I just forgot Hank. Okay, That's, let's see what okay. you wrote down. We'll, we'll what, what highway was it? Do you know? <laughs> what highway? I need specifics here. This might I be a dog that got hit by car. No, that's not specific enough. What? Okay. Yeah, I agree with her. I we would well, need more of a story. Yeah, I need a little more. Can you I give us that counts and mine's gonna count because I said very vague story too. Okay, okay. let's we'll see. Okay. Maybe you'll get a half yeah, point we'll for see, that. We'll see. Should we give him a half point? I don't know about that. Half I points don't really. Half. I don't think half points are good because. Half points only count in two sizes. That's true. Chris, did, did you just say you want a half point? 
I don't want to have a point. Oh, he doesn't I want to have a point. Idea. I respect that. He does no no half points. It's either full or nothing. <laughs> okay, I got. I was about to laugh so hard. I thought he wanted the half. No, point. that would have been like, funny. This guy wants sure. every point he can get. Okay, so okay. what's the story? Tell us details about no, how. No, no, this... no, no, no. We have to get his answer okay, first, fine. guys. Everyone, I'm stay not... in order. Okay, we have to sorry, stay orderly sorry, here. Sorry. Chris, what was yep. the name of your first pet? Well, I'm hoping now that Anna doesn't get this right because I made it difficult. So my first real pet was Daisy, and she was a parakeet. I said Whoa. bird named Blank that died. <laughs> So it's- <laughs> Hold on. Of course the bird died. This was like 30 years ago. <laughs> Wait, so you both know that your first pets died. That's it, yeah, pretty yeah. much. Okay, got it. I don't know if that counts. Um, I think I'm going to give them both the nothing on that. Yeah. I think that's a good I zero, zero. Both didn't yeah. have the names. Yeah, both zero. Both but credit to you guys for knowing that the both pets died. Yeah. yeah. Because because um, most pets live forever. 30 yeah. years old. Imagine if my parakeet was still alive. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Parrots live for 60 years. Well, I don't know about parakeets. You're still in a tie. So, Andy, you're All getting right. close to your prediction here. This one's going to be close. This, top, this yeah. next one. Okay. All right. This is exciting. Question number five, Anna. It is your last meal on earth. What do you order? And the two of you agreed to do three things, right? Which means you have to get two yep. out of three correct. Anna, let's see what you order. Uh, okay, no one can judge me. This is a judge-free zone, correct? Oh, this is yeah. not a judge-free zone. I mean, it's your zone. last okay. meal. This is not a time to be You're sensible. You're going to get judged. Um, I would get a grilled cheese, and then a Mountain Dew, and then Kraft Mac and Cheese. Okay, we need to see that as proof. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's see that. Put that up here. Wow. Grilled cheese, Mountain Dew, Kraft Mac and Cheese. That is a breakfast I'm, of champions right there. I am I'm going to get a... I'm I don't even know what to say to that. <laughs> I mean, that's her palate. No, I enjoy other things too, but like, holy cow, a good grilled cheese and mac and cheese. Like, no, I mean, those are good. Way. Those are good things for this doubling. You're doubling up on the cheese. Yeah, on the there. same. It's you're satisfying the same cheese. craving. You do like, like cheese, I okay. sometimes sit down and just eat a whole block of cheese. Like the whole block. <laughs> it's so good. She sounds a little like me. I also love cheese. Yeah. cheese. Oh, wow. Two girls who love cheese. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> who would have thought? I, yeah. All right. Chris, dying to know if you got that. All right. So I got cheese, <laughs> chips and salsa, and Mountain Dew. Wow. wow. That's a point. I, we're giving you that because he said oh, what cheese. Are you giving? No, cheese. Yeah, no, because Mountain Dew, he for sure, he didn't get grilled cheese. He didn't get oh, mac and cheese. cheese counts. But the cheese, cheese counts. Cheese, almost, he got all three, technically, almost. Wait, what, what was the third thing you said? No, he said salsa. I said cheese, chips, and salsa, Mountain Dew. Oh, okay. Chips and, salsa, chips and salsa, no. Salsa okay, yeah. but cheese and Mountain Dew, we're going to give you that oh, point. Oh, yeah, we deserve that. Wow. The Mountain Dew alone, I think, should give right? it to you. That's that's like, who who would guess that unless yeah. they were Ooh, dating somebody? I, I love Mountain Dew. I sent her Mountain Dew, um... For her first Christmas present. Yeah. When we you need to get a meeting. sponsorship. Have you had a sponsorship yeah, yet for yeah. Mountain Dew? This um, has no, to happen. No, but they sent me a, a human-sized stuffed pillow Mountain Dew situation once, which was... <laughs> really? Okay. Yeah. I didn't okay. quite want to do with it. So. <laughs> yeah, they're used to sending 12-year-old boys that play video games these things. <laughs> so they had to adapt a little bit when... Uh, no. Yeah. I don't drink it as much anymore. I used to drink like one or two a day. Or oh, in college, wow. it was like this day. I'm not kidding. I'm from Minnesota. Like, I'm from Minnesota. We drink Mountain Dew. But <laughs> now this year, I don't think I've even had a single one in the new year, which is really Is fun. that the state drink, Mountain Dew of Minnesota? <laughs> I think so. I will admit it is pretty tasty it on is some ice. Tasty yeah. on some crushed I, ice. Not to date myself, but I, I had I was into the predecessor of Mountain Dew, Mellow Yellow. Which oh. was yeah, Mountain Dew crushed Mellow Yellow, but mm. Mellow Yellow was the first of the weirdly colored fluorescent, high caffeine, lemony sort of drinks. Lemon line, I'm not sure what right. Oh, I so I have a confession. I've never tried Mountain Dew. Are you serious? You look like you've never tried Mountain Dew. <laughs> <laughs> no judgment. I, I do look like I've never yeah. tried Mountain Dew. Yeah. So Anna, I mean, this is getting intense. You have no. to get this right, get or else this. you lose. Or else we go to overtime, as I predicted. Chris loves food. Like he is. Oh, a, she's, she's setting, setting this up. up. She got it. I mean, he's he opened. No, like, I, okay. He's a former restaurateur, that right, is Chris? True. That is true. Yeah, he knows we've his restaurant. We've been to his restaurant. Oh yeah, we've been to. Excellent. Was it your brother or your cousin's restaurant here in the city that we went to? The Italian place. 
your brother in law, and it was excellent. It was spectacular. Yes. Yeah. You know, I didn't get enough. Food. Everyone ate everything. You didn't bring out enough food. That was the one problem. You weren't there. <laughs> I was there. No, you yes, weren't. Yes, I was. No, I brought a girlfriend because you were out of town. Oh, well, then, then I'm right. I didn't get enough food. <laughs> you didn't get any food. <laughs> That's Did what I remember. I, I remember not eating enough at your restaurant. <laughs> okay. Chris. I'm, I'm very curious, I've got to say, from such a foodie, it's your last meal on earth. What do you order? Hmm. Well, Charlene, I'm a simple man. So I am. I do like my food, but I also like just some steak and potatoes with some ice uh, cream. Oh, uh oh. Wait, so you own, okay, steak, I think we got a winner. potatoes, and ice cream. Those are three separate things, right? Yeah. Right, steak and potatoes for the main dish and then ice cream for dessert. I, I like steak the- and potatoes, but as one. You win. That's it. I said start with oysters and then steak and potatoes. Okay. But I did write a fourth because I thought Uh, steak and potatoes was uh, one. uh Uh-huh. So I wrote cheesecake. Mm -hmm. But I I thought steak and potatoes. If he gets cheesecake. Yeah, I, 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 I'm gonna, you know, yeah, what I say yeah, she gets, she gets the point, but she's on probation. <laughs> yeah. Okay. If I there's another fence call, she's off. Yeah, we're gonna take steak gonna, and potatoes as two yeah. separate things, even though they were on the same line. And I'm a stickler yeah, yeah. for accuracy. Well, they both put it on the same line. Yeah, That's but it's true. not like you put the steak in the potatoes. It's steak yeah. and potatoes. Yeah, yeah I yes. agree. All there's right. no, okay. there's a definite oh, okay. delineation between steak and potatoes. It's not one thing. <laughs> okay. So, Anna, you get that point, which means that you guys are tied at 4-4, and now you have a very serious choice to we make. You're going overtime. You get to decide whether or not you would like to go about your evening and just love each other equally. No. Or- no. Yeah, no. <laughs> no. We need a winner. Okay, they need a winner. Okay, we need to discuss. One second. So we're in overtime now. Mm -hmm. Very nerve wracking. We should have some sort of a sound effect for overtime. I know. We should have like a sound or like a horn. One of those horns. What do you call those? Air horns? All horns are air horns, I guess. You guys should have an air horn for overtime. Yeah, I agree. Do you want to do a sound right now, Andy? Well, an air horn sound? Yeah. I can say it. So, Anna, how do you take the following three things? Coffee, eggs, and potatoes. Iced coffee with vanilla creamer. Ooh, I'm going to say scrambled eggs. Like, if I'm just eating an egg alone, scrambled. Because, yeah. okay. like, if it's on something, then it needs to be runny. Um, and then I said, however Chris makes me potatoes. Because <laughs> he oh. cooks. Okay. Okay. That's going to oh, be so, interesting. Oh, that, yeah. How is he supposed to work with that? That'll be interesting. We'll see. Unless he yeah. says, like, my potatoes. Oh, yeah. Okay, Chris, we're dying to know. The way I make her coffee for her every morning is um, <laughs> Starbucks iced coffee with a ton of vanilla creamer. Oh. Very nice. And then scrambled eggs. Oh, wow. oh he's already got it. And then I did mashed potatoes. Oh, he got it. Two okay, out of three. That's it. Very good. Very good. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, and he makes her coffee every morning. That's nice. I mean, that was a, it's, it's inside it. information. Yeah. <laughs> so, Chris, how do you take your coffee, eggs, and potatoes? Okay, so I take my coffee hot and black or with a tiny splash of her vanilla creamer. <laughs> okay. Eggs scrambled and mashed potatoes. Okay. All okay. right. I said he said black, but it really is hot coffee with a splash of creamer. Oh, <laughs> oh wow. Solid. Wow. Okay. And I said scrambled. And then I said boiled first, then baked with cheese, because that's how you make it. Okay, but you got okay, two you out of three. Won. Wow. Wow. Oh We're going to double again. overtime. This is double overtime. Do you want do you, do you want, want another tiebreaker? Overtime? We gotta go double overtime. Okay. Yeah, sure. yeah, double overtime. Oh, you don't want to do it? <laughs> No, the they're doing holes. it. Oh, I think Chris is nervous. He's, he thinks he's got as far as he can go. I thought I was more right than she was, but. What? Mine was exactly one. It was word for word what you said. Yeah, sorry, yeah, Chris. Yeah, sorry. tone it down, Chris. It's fine. It's fine. It's okay, fine. Okay, so we are going, you you don't want to go off into the evening just loving each other equally, correct? No, but no. Okay. Andy has to do the air horn if we're going to double one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so next so final hopefully or i think final <laughs> type right. no no okay anna when you were a child what did you want to be when you grew up word for word a hair cutter <laughs> <laughs> that's cute chris i put figure skater that, i mean oh, it's a good guess it's a good guess oh that is good a good guess, guess. Yeah. did yeah. you not want to be a figure skater no you were a figure skater though <laughs> 
Yeah, but I didn't think I I was more practical. I was like, how was I gonna make money? No, very you practical. <laughs> what did you work her before I was even a figure skater? Okay. Wow. I, she's got a point. I mean, I did figure skating for like yeah, seven years, and I also a, never once was yeah. like, I'm gonna be yeah. a figure skater. Yep. Half they always told you the oldest you were figure skating was like sixteen. So that yeah. was always like when I grow up, I'll be this though. Yeah. I, I will give Chris credit for knowing she did figure skating though. Yeah. Yeah. Not actual credit, but <laughs> yeah. just figurative. But like, <laughs> here's my question. Here's my question. Like, if in your wildest dreams, I never, I didn't like figure skating that no. much. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> Me neither, girl. It's I didn't hard. like it either. Yeah, yeah it's hard. it was you hard. And when you fell, it hurt. Yeah. Twelve years. I think. Uh, wow. Yeah. Wow, or, so cool. Might have only been ten. How many years did you cut hair? So. Okay. So Chris. I'm very invested now. Yeah. When you were a child, what did you want to be when you grew up? Well, certainly I'm going to lose on this one, but as a child, I had unrealistic dreams because that's what <laughs> children do. They have unrealistic dreams. He, he is dreams. right. He is right. And I wanted to be a baseball player. Me too. Okay. Oh, See? you had the same Me too. Dream. Absolutely. I thought, I really believed I was going to be a baseball player. Did same, you? All the way up to college, I thought I was going to be a baseball player. Me too. Man. And college really slapped me in the ass. <laughs> same. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he's got like four inches on you. Wait. Oh, in height. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Just checking. I, I didn't know how well you knew, Chris. I like where this is going. <laughs> yeah. It's getting okay. good. It's getting good. Anna, I'm dying to know. You look confident. Let's see if you got that. I don't want to gloat too much, but. Uh oh. Oh, oh, she got it. She got it. One fair and square. Yeah, that's a that's a good victory. It's it's bittersweet though because yeah. it was a hard fought battle. It is bittersweet, like especially since I know, since you. You. I know <laughs> you. That's so good. <laughs> That's the thing. Even when you lose this game, you really win. Yeah, but Chris isn't going to win tonight. He's going to be in a cold bed. I mean, I know. I know. I don't know how I'm going to recover from this. Anna, you are the winner of the Dear Shandy Newlyweds game. Very nice. Very nice. A hard, hard won victory. And one of the highest uh, point scoring totals of all time. Certainly. I mean, it's... Yes, when it's a little different when there are tiebreakers, but yes, you yeah. are the second highest, I think, ever yeah. score. So, mm -hmm. well, because well we done. got the one with pets wrong, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, even though it was, it was close, it was close. It was, close. It, <laughs> it was actually kind of touching because you both got it wrong in the same way. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll set you free, and and hopefully Anna gets to celebrate her yeah. big victory. However, <laughs> however that works out. <laughs> Okay, thank you so much and, and stay in touch. Great to see you guys. Okay, see you guys. Bye bye. Well, that was fun. Yeah, that was good. Delightful. I love how competitive they are. I love it when couples are like, no, we oh, can't yeah. love each other equally. Yeah, they, they, I want them to take the game seriously. Mm -hmm. It's a game, but we're not really playing games with this. This is a serious test. <laughs> the more seriously couples take that game, the more fun it tends to be, yeah. I've got to say. I find the more serious they take it, the better the relationship. It's when they don't take they're like, oh, this is a stupid game. It's like, I don't know what you think about this girl. <laughs> My favorite is when I was like, okay, this first type, you know, this tiebreaker is, is, a, is another food one. Yeah. Chris was like leaning hard. He's like, excellent. <laughs> 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 oh, they're cute. Yeah. I give them the dear Shandy seal of approval. I think that lasts. <laughs> they are really effortless together. Yeah. You can sense it. Ease. That's what she said. It was easy. Mm -hmm. Easy is so important. Yeah. It's, it's not work. Relationships aren't work. Kids might be work. Well, and yeah, kids are work. Life is work. You know, there's work is work. Yeah. Work is work. And just, I, I often think that being just a, a living and breathing like citizen is work, you know, yeah. like you, you know, you, you have so many little things you have to do to just be a functioning person in society. Yeah. But I think the last thing that should be work is when you come home to your little haven, whatever home is for you, yeah. it should not be work to just be on the same page with the person no. that you've decided it can't to can't be work. With. I yeah. mean, you can, you can work towards compromise. Like there's not, I'm not saying that you just get in a relationship and you're like, Oh, I'm good. <laughs> yeah. I don't have to do anything. Mm -hmm. You can compromise, but the compromise shouldn't be like, ah, crap. I got to do this stupid compromise. And you have to think about it. Like how annoyed you are. It should be something you want to do. You're like, Oh, this is easy. I compromise. I get this. This is great i really liked how well they seemed to know each other 
Yeah. You know, and he was like, oh, yeah, I'm the sensitive one. Like, I'm the emotional one. And she's like, yeah, I, I get like I get over being angry fast. So it doesn't even seem worth mentioning. Like, she's like, I'm just yeah. pissy for an hour. And then I get like, it just shows a lot of like reflection that they're oh, like, absolutely. oh, I'm I play this role in this relationship. It, it was a, there was a Harry met Sally ish level of familiarity here. Oh, wow. It was like it felt like an old like they've been together for many years, but we're also very happy. Mm. And, and you know, it's good to see Chris settle down. <laughs> been a wild man for too long yeah i agree it's yeah. it, it does he seems like calmer yeah it's a happy ending like there are many people who could have seen his history on the show and be like this guy he's headed for disaster it's too much too much tv <laughs> too, too, much TV. <laughs> too much tv i really like to how separate they seem from I don't want to say from Bachelor Nation, you know, they're, they're all forever, whether they like it or not. They have this, this seal, the yeah. stamp that's seared yeah. into them as mm. it is with me. But I just love how they're like, oh, misconceptions. Like, I'm sure there are some, but. Well, you know, it's funny. I know. forgot that they were even on the show. Like there came a point there. I was like, I did, you asked me, I'd be like, oh, right. They were on that show. I didn't have no idea. That says so much. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't feel like The Bachelor plays a role no. in their everyday life. I also love- And you notice how they didn't bring it in? Like there wasn't like, they, were, they weren't like, oh, and that was like the time I was on the show. Yeah, yeah, or yeah. like that was like when the show, no, it's it was so just like, true. this is our relationship. We're just together now. Forget about the show. Yeah. So true. I do think it helps though that they both have normal jobs. Is yeah. that bad to say? No, no, it's true. Definitely I mean, helps. You know, they both, of course, have their Instagrams and everything, but I love that they both yeah. are working. Like you can't even feel it in mm -hmm. the, their mm -hmm. that sense of individuality they have. There's it a base there. There's something to stand on. Yeah. Yeah. For both of I them. I think it's healthy. I think so too. Because I think sometimes when you're in a bachelor relationship, not yeah. to call there's a bachelor relationship, <laughs> and you're making your entire living on social media, yeah. I think that there's a lot of pressure to sort of Pretend well, that relationship is good and sort of post about and, that relationship. And you are working together. You're business partners yes, as well. Yes, that's true. And that's hard to do. It is. Mm -hmm. As we know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I think that's a wrap for this delightful love fest. Yeah, I knew that one. one would be fun. I love it. I got to say. Uh, not to be biased, but I love it when we're already friends with at yeah. least one of the people. It definitely makes it easier. Yeah. Well, it's just like, it's like, ah, hey. Yeah. yeah it was cool. It's like to a meet legitimate her. double date. Okay. I think that's a wrap then for this delightful love fest. Oh, yeah. If you enjoyed what you heard today, you know what we will ask of you, and that is to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, follow us on Instagram and TikTok. Leave us Apple and Spotify podcast ratings and reviews. Tell your friends and generally do all of the things that you would do to support a podcast you enjoy. And that interviews your favorite bachelor couples. Yeah. Uh -huh. Thank you so much for tuning in and we'll see you next time on Dear Shandy. Bye-bye. Dear Shandy. Dear Shandy. Oh, there's there's something kind of sad in the yeah, air I feel right now. I feel a little he's sad. He's tugging on my, on my heartstrings. Yeah, this is I tugging on my heartstrings too. Yeah, because I think he had, might have had the last one. <laughs> oh, you think so? I feel, I feel we, we should We should tell our Shandys because we'll cut the previous part. But we asked them a question and we gave them the option to pass, but they had to agree to pass. And Chris was sort of on the fence. Yeah. So basically, we're going to give Chris the benefit of being such an honorable gentleman. But <laughs> yeah. you, may, you may get the win. It's not. Oh, it's oh, not. This one. I know what you were your first job. Do you? you don't know mine. You were a caterer. Yeah, I was gonna say you were you were either server or construction worker. No, that was were way later. Yeah, <laughs> you you got it wrong. <laughs> you should have kept quiet. <laughs> okay. Now okay. we have no sympathy for you. Zero, zero sympathy. <laughs> okay, okay, okay we're moving happened. on. According to our, our our listeners, that will have never happened.